Hi, welcome to my channel, Sister with a Purpose, where I give you uplifting motivational messages and I let you know what's going on. Thank you for everyone watching this video right now. Thank you for my new my new subscribers as well as my returning ones. What's happening, y'all? Okay. I hope you like my new um bamboo. <laughs> you know, and um this is the setup for now, so we're gonna roll with it, okay? Alright. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see what we have from my lowdown deck. And then we're going to pull some clarifying cards. And then we're definitely going to end with an affirmation. I hope all is well with everyone. I know I don't have one of my affirmation cards. Hold up, y'all. In this pile. I thought I'd seen something. I just heard, I felt a broke nigga said something. I don't know why I just heard that. I hope we're not going there today. Okay. All right, let's keep it moving. All right. Okay, guys, so let's get into it. Um, I was plotting the whole time, the first card out, so you can see. I was plotting the whole time. Oh, we I gotta clip my fingernails. And I normally used to get my nails done all the time, right? Right. But then being a mommy happens. I braid my daughter's hair often, and I cannot braid the nails. And I hate getting like it's just it's too much. So I told myself when I got to a space to where um you know I can just find someone I trust to braid her hair for me, then I was gonna start back with my long nails. I, I miss them. Okay, your mama a hater. I only want to use you and family interference. Okay. So those are the four cards that came out from our lowdown deck. Oh, we somebody being low down. You can only see three cards. So what are we going to do about this? I am going to put two and two. What about that? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Well, it could have been a mother figure hating on a divine partnership that you... Um, are in or will be entering or have were in in the past because I'm feeling like someone interfered and it was your mother. Disclaimer, this video may not resonate for everyone watching. So I do um I, I do get it and I do understand. Alright. If um, it doesn't resonate, you don't have to like the video, but thank you for watching, and I do appreciate your watch. I appreciate your um, subscription to my channel, and I hope that my messages enlighten you as well as expose you to the truth. All right, let's keep it moving. I was plotting the whole time. I only want to use you, okay? Why do we have this here? You're not going to tell me. You're not going to tell me. That's way too many, first of all. But I was okay. I was gonna say, hold up. I thought the same cards from the last video was coming out. I was gonna say, what? That is impossible. Okay, too many. I'm gonna just keep continue to shuffle really quickly because I really don't want the same cards from the last message to come out. Even though that they normally do, maybe one or two, because I know it's always a continuation sometimes. And I'm normally um, stage or do a little Palo Santo in between each read. So I do it on camera or I do it off camera. I don't always do it on camera, but yeah. Okay, let's keep it moving. I was plotting the whole time. Let me get one card for that. Thank you. That's two cards. Okay, so I want to see you as a star. They wanted you to juggle, Okay. They wanted to entrap you. This is why they were plotting the whole time. Could be a Capricorn in particular or an Aquarius energy that that is um that was plotting the whole time. Okay? Or they could be a plotting during Aquarius season because we are in Aquarius season. 
okay there could be a capricorn or there could have been some plots going on during capricorn and aquarius season that's why i just heard because this is standing out to me and these this this water in both of these cars is letting me know that the emotion is flowing the emotion is high like whoever was trying to plot against you ooh, if you have an aquarius or capricorn mama she was plotting the whole time but i want to know why she plotting why is she a hater your mom a hater. Clarify why this mom is a hater. Your mom a hater. Clarify that. Who? Why? Why would mama be hating? The cards fell right on the floor. She like, nah, bitch, you ain't getting on the table. And it's three cards. I'm not taking all three of these cards. Mental clarity. The two of walls and judgment. So, yeah, I got mental clarity that she was planning some bullshit. But spirit calling judgment on her ass. Whatever she's planning. She's, she could be... She really, to be honest with you, could be um, a hater because you have mental clarity about the BS that she was trying to put you in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The two of wands. So we got the two of wands and the two of pentacles. So I, want, I, I feel like someone wanted you stuck financially. Someone wanted you stuck in a mentality to where you didn't pursue your goals. Because maybe this person didn't pursue their goals. And I feel like she may have blamed someone for not pursuing her goals. Could have been someone in the family or... I mean, I don't think she like blamed her kids. But I mean, she probably didn't say this out loud, but... From her actions, you could kind of tell, like, she's something ain't up with her. Something not right. I don't know what she got going on. Like, she get, she explode about the smallest things. But it be good things. Like, you being in your purpose. Like, even if you were juggling um, finances or whatnot, it's like, you still was staying afloat, I'm hearing. And even if you were emotional, you still transmuted that emotion and you still make sure you was working in your purpose. So I don't know. The Ace of Swords and the Star, she having a judgment. And then maybe she waking up to the fact that she is a hater. Yeah. Yeah, and she tried to stab you in your back, but you was wearing your crown of divinity. That's crazy. Can I clarify? I only want to use you. Yeah, look at this. This is a mom right here. This is a mother figure with the four of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is a working mother. And the four of pentacles is a working, penny pitching mother. Don't have enough. Lack mentality. I feel that she did not reach her potential that she wanted to reach. And I hate to be on here talking about somebody's mama and family. Because, you know, we all have to, at the end of the day, come to... The realization it is what it is and still love them from a space of compassion. Because we divine feminine. So what we look like giving them that same karmic energy back. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, yeah. So the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, baby, that's the Five of Pentacles. And then the Five of Pentacles plus the Two of Pentacles is the Seven of Pentacles. So you she reaping what she sowed. That's the judgment. Her not having money, her hating, her wanting to use you for your finances and her interfering in your life in a negative way. Is the fucking judgment for her ass. Like I said, it could be a Capricorn. Capricorn mother figure. Or an Aquarius. Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Okay? Yeah, she only wanted to use you. And she interfered in something that you were... That was supposed to be your destiny. Let's, what, why is family interference here for this particular spread, Divine Spirit? Why is this here? No more than one to two cards. Because you've been giving me two for each one of them. And I'm cool with that. But I don't want no more than one or two. Why is family interference here? We already know what she was interfering with. Your plans. Your actions. Your mental clarity. What the hell? And your money. And your purpose. She found that you had a purpose. She over here trying to hide money. She hiding money and she still broke. I don't want to talk about nobody mama like that. That don't feel good. But let's keep it moving. That's too many spirits. Damn. I said that's too many. He like, look. Oh, the same. I seen these cards and the same ones came out. Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the damn Queen of Cups. Yeah, from a spatial compassion. See, she the Queen of Pentacles, you the Queen of Cups. But you walking away from her. You giving yourself love. She had anxiety about this. You already had the mental clarity. Look, didn't I say she reaping what she sowed? The seven of pentacles right here. But let's move on. Because what's what's even more amazing to me 
It's the damn five of pentacles. And we just got done. I just got done telling you she was a five of pentacles. She interfered with your connection with the king of wands. See, you your person could have been the king of wands. Okay, damn. Let me let, let me say, let me pick the cards back up. She interfered with a breakup between you and the king of wands energy. Fire sign in particular. Oh, y'all just could have had a lot of passion for each other. See, you were compassionate and he was passionate. Either way it go, you know what I'm saying? Y'all was doing y'all thing. But she had a hand in y'all breaking up. I'm sorry, but she did. I don't know if she gave you advice. I don't know if she did spell work. We ain't gonna go that deep with it. Just know she did something. Okay? You know what she did. You know what she did. You know what she did. That's why you watch this video. You know what she did. Period. Yeah, my bad. I said, you know, if I if you see me switch your cards, it's I'm switching cards according to least to greatest in how I read cards now. I'm going back to my original way of the way I've read cards. When I like I said in maybe two or three videos already in the beginning of the video, when I first got on YouTube, because I know a lot of y'all haven't seen my very first videos, and that was back in what August, September. So I'm sure you didn't catch those videos. But um, that's the way I originally learned to read cards was through numerology. I had the number placement on the card and I would um, align them according to a certain way. And that's how I would read the energy. And I've been divinely guided to go back to where I started in because it was getting it was getting out of hand for me. It was getting a little chaotic, you know, and I'm just trying to follow spirit, divine spirit, you know. OK, anyways, let's move move forward with it. So the four of pentacles with the queen of pentacles is the five of pentacles. Okay, you could have been out in the cold about the hand she had in this. But you knew that she only wanted to use you. This is why she wanted to interfere. She was plotting this the whole time. This is why she's in anxiety. You walked away. It's because she didn't know that when you walked away from this king of wands. That it was essentially going to put her out in the cold as well. You walked away from everybody. You didn't just walk away from him. You walked away from her too. For some of y'all, I'm hearing it was a messy situation. Very, very messy. Very messy. A king of wands could have walked away from you because of a mother figure. And now she's in anxiety. Because now he leaving her ass in the cold too. And, he, and she running behind his ass trying to be compassionate. And he's still like, no, nah, I'm good on it. I'm good. I'm good on it, mom. I'm good on it. Yeah, because she looked at him like the Ten of Pentacles. She was plotting the whole time. She was interfering with y'all connection. Y'all know who it is, how it is. It could be your mama. It could be your person's mama. Switch it around for however it fit for you. What is the outcome of this reading? Let's move forward. What is the outcome of this reading? I am going to move these cards up, though, because I see um, that it's like at the bottom. Then now, yeah, she she over here. She she's still in planning mode. She's still planning on interfering. Mm -mm -mm. Let's keep it moving. Some people don't learn their lesson. Judgment call. See, whatever she's going through financially, she knows she has the mental clarity. And this is why she's trying to pray to the divine. But the divine already done called on her ass. Because at the end of the day, that was y'all purpose. That was y'all destiny. She wanted this person to juggle. To go in between households. Go in between emotions. She wanted to emotionally manipulate him. Or your mama wants to emotionally manipulate you. And this don't make no damn sense. Because we adults. This is very piss poor energy. Let's keep it moving. We're not going to stay on this for too long. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wow. Wow. The outcome cards. These are two beautiful outcome cards. You received divine intervention. The high priestess, the sun, your intuition begins to kick in and you get the fuck out of Dodge whether it's your mother or his mother this is why the breakup had to ensue and you went with it and gave yourself love because the eight of cups and the queen of cups is the nine of cups you're like I'm good I am good these people I'm hearing these people want to teamwork 
whether it's the masculine or whether it's the masculine's mother who wants to come in or whether it's the uh your mother who wants to come in but you got to remember they was plotting the whole time and they was only using you yeah you completed this cycle you ended this shit out quickly swiftly once once that intuition kicked in because you're the star you knew you had a destiny you knew you and this person had a destiny but you you value yourself so much that you walked away or your person walked away and even when your person walked away you still valued yourself this is why the divine is blessing you making sure you align with your purpose that's beautiful but all right let's go ahead and get an affirmation card from my tarot affirmation deck for this entire situation What is it they need to hear, Divine Spirit? Thank you so much. Beautiful. Beautiful. I give myself time to rest, meditate, and go within. I just told you, you went within and gave yourself self-love. You're giving yourself time to rest. You're giving yourself time to med meditate. I want to say medicate. <laughs> Self-soothing, okay? You know, this is all you can do. Because, you know, we are on a journey. We are on a destiny, a path of divinity. We don't sit and wallow in sorrow. And sometimes, you know, we will feel bad for ourselves, but we're not having no pity parties. All right? All right? This is the message that I have for you, Divine Feminine. I hope you enjoyed this reading as well as Divine Masculine if you were watching. And until next time, I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.